The whole crypto market just had a massive crash and SafePoint is not exception. Let's check out what's going to happen here for the next couple of days here, maybe even months. So let's begin. But before we start guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really does help the channel to grow and to continue to go up. Right now we did pass 30,000 subscribers, we're at 31,000, we're going to that 32,000 mark. Without you guys, this channel just wouldn't even exist, it's a huge milestone and it's all to get a go to the moon. So basically here we are at the core market gap as you can see the market gap it says here did go by down by 10 percent but it did go a lot more i'm going to show you guys the volume here did is decreasing right now so 22 percent down 12 million dollars here as you can see and this is how the chart kind of looks like we got a top post here i'm going to read this post because this post is really important because i believe in safe i believe the safe will continue to go up but you have to be realistic at the same time and you have to take the team like accountable for for all their actions safe is not something you need to just say okay it's 100 going to go up and that's it you have to believe in the team but when they do make mistakes you have to hold them accountable and that's it if you do believe in them you need to do this and that's it that's what real trust is it says here i'm not happy to say this however i believe that this really needs to be said i'm not going to skip a whole part here saying just i'm saying these things because i love the project and i think that this is the valuable feedback for the team to grow from this is it you need harsh criticism you need criticism if you want people to grow and that's it if you want the safe moon team to grow you need to criticize them for their mistakes and that's it because if you say just it's okay it's okay they're just gonna make more mistakes in the future but by you criticizing them they're gonna fix that's what they're not making fun criticizing and making fun are two different things so first example gaslighting the safe one army last sunday during the twitter space instead of taking responsibility for the mishandling of the launch where millions of safe one users on twitter and facebook were left in the dark for six hours John, the CEO of Safehoon, deflected blame onto the holders by saying that, that we just didn't understand the complexities of launching an app. And while yes, I do agree that launching any new pro product is difficult and the app development on the forend and the backend is extremely complex, it's extremely disheartening to see the heads of Safehoon essentially talking down to their loyal supporters like we're a bunch of of chumps instead of owning up to their mistakes this is totally right this is totally right like it's not the fault of the holders it's maybe the fault of the fudsters the people who are trolling but it's not their fault that the wallet didn't get launched like it's not our fault that the wallet didn't get launched it's the safe moon team's fault because they didn't really understand uh, everything about a launch and that's it this here's second example, John, constant misuse of the word FUD. It really does seem like every time the community has a valid criticism about handling of a certain events, it's, it's always shrugged off as FUD. No matter if it's true or not, yes, FUD is real in the safe community, but there's also a lot of complaints that come from real corners over real issues, but those often are disregarded as FUD like everything else. This growth area FUD attitude has also spread to many community members attitudes as well as the attitude of, of some safe moon discord moderators. So on the wallet launch date I was given a strike warning for telling a moderator that the safe moon community deserves more transparency during the 6 hour radio silence. This is not okay and it contradicts a previous post where the team denied the guilty nature of, of some moderators. Not all mods are like this, but when this behavior exists, it shouldn't be swept under the rug. It has to be exemplified. So they're trying to uh, die down the FUD. When it, you're trying to down, die down the real FUD, it's okay. But if you're receiving real criticism and you're deleting, you're banning people who are criticizing you, like I said, you will never grow. The safe one team will never be able to achieve the, the things they want to achieve if they do not grow. They have so many missions, they have so many tasks, tasks they need to do and through that journey they need to grow. But if you halt your growth, you're not going to succeed and that's it. So this last example or the overuse of we are family, we are safe one. Every time that there's a delay, be it the wallet or one of the many technical difficulties they have with the safe on Sundays, 
almost every single time, instead of apologizing or owning up to their mistakes, we just get hit with technical difficulties, we are family, we are safe moon, which is honestly getting really stale. At first they came across the general empathy for our frustrations, but now they're using it every single time they may mess up instead of just saying, we messed up, we're going to try to do better. You can only say that so many times before it just sounds like a bad marketing to cover their butts for constantly missing deadlines. This is also right, like they're using this term like we are family, we are safe moon, which is a really good term. I really do like this slogan, like we are family, we are safe moon. It's all good to get a go to the moon. That's the best slogan I heard for any from any coin. It's just super cool. And it's why people like really do like the community because it really is like a family here. But the problem is when you're seeing that your family member is doing something wrong or bad to themselves, what do you do? Do you just shut up and say nothing? Just Do you just let the time pass? Or do you tell them that they were wrong and they need to correct themselves and they need to better themselves? It's of course the latter here where you need to help your family member to grow and that's it. And of course we do grow and also we're gonna grow with the Safe Moon team and that's it. In conclusion, we will continue supporting this project as I think the work of the developers have put into Safe Moon has been amazing. But the utter lack of transparency and the disregard for valid criticism from CEO John has been for lack of better words frustrating and annoying. In the future, I hope to see the team own up to their mistakes and be transparent as to what went wrong and how they're going to learn from said mistakes in the future. If you're all family like John loves to say, then be honest with your family and own up to your mistakes and correct them. This is what exactly I said here. Okay, don't gaslight the user base. Be honest with them. It's what we all deserve. We got a couple of updates here saying, we hit the front page of Safe Moon subreddit. I was expecting to be downloaded to hell, but I'm glad so many people are seeing exactly what I'm seeing and I want to better dialogue transparency with the people in charge of the future of this project. This project has great potential, but, but we need to remember our place as investors. Our money keeps this project rolling. But whatever it's kickstarting the app or buying a couple dollars worth of Safe Moon. If our money matters, then so does our voices. Speak with passion, friends. You deserve to have your voice heard. This is what I also said here, guys. It's your money. That you deserve the right to know what's happening because you are investing into a company. The problem, of course, if there was no investing, there was no money, it would be okay. But because you are part of it without the safe food community there wouldn't be a safe food so you have you, you are a part of safe food that's it holy moly we're, we're doing numbers in the subreddit today thank you all for bringing awareness to such a serious issue that needs to be addressed for now i'll leave you with the quote from john here himself but back in april after the miami crypto convention incident saying I hold him to this words we will always take your, your feedback you are the only reason we are here brilliant post it wouldn't surprise me if i got downloaded though this will probably be labeled fud in itself it's a shame that most community can't take constructive criticism or be bothered to ask objective and critical questions i agree with you uh, uh, your post 100 percent thanks so like i said you can check out this is the number one post right now you can check out the comments if you do want so it is a really good post it's actually exactly what i think here is happening and how i do feel about safe Moon right now and what the safe Moon team really needs to do if they want their their family the safe Moon family to be here for the long run so we also have one more super important post this video is already pretty long this post is super important because uh, there's a competition with Warcher Guru. Basically, go on their Twitter, go vote for Safe Moon because uh, they're doing some promotions. They're gonna have like a billboard, so they they can they're going to add like one new coin here to that billboard, so that coin can be Safe Moon. And if that happens, we're just, we're just gonna have a huge billboard of Safe Moon, and that's gonna be awesome. This is the last post. So uh, Thomas here, pop up. Let's say here the chain is obviously transparent. I'm not hiding. The contract owner address was used entirely for business purposes. At no point was the transaction made with the owner address that wasn't approved by others. Hopefully that helps. I'm not going to talk about this again. That's it. I wish people would just leave this guy alone and let him work on his project. He spends half his time explaining every aspect of this random, uh, aspect of this to random people. So yeah, leave Papa alone. <laughs> Leave, Papa isn't the guy you should be talking to. It's actually John. It's the person who is the front and like front face of Safe Moon. You need to ask him. Like Papa is the developer here. He has 
other things he needs to work on he has to work in the coin and that's it he can maybe sometimes talk about things he's working on but you can't ask him the cru crucial questions and that's it this is how much we did go down so this is the huge decrease we had for the coin if we do measure from here to here it's about 26 to 27 percent it did go down all the way to 28 so a lot of decrease here that happened to safe moon now what's going to happen in the future of safe moon first thing first we did make this bearish cross which just shows you that the value of safe moon will continue to go down until we do make the bullish cross here we're not going to increase so for now we're finding some stabilization between the areas of 0 0.00017 and 0 0.00018 so what i predict will happen here to well, the whole crypto market is that we're going to stabilize right now. So, it's not Safe Moon's fault. This this huge decrease is just not Safe Moon's fault. It's the fault of the whole crypto market going down. So, in the end, we are still pretty much okay. Now, why? Because we didn't really reach this level here. The only reason the Safe Moon is going to break and get wrecked and totally get like lose all of its value is if we pass this level. So, if we pass the level at 0 0.00012, uh, yeah, that's going to be over for Safe Moon. But because we did on stabilization here at this level, basically 0 0.0017, we're still okay. Everything is going to be okay with Safe Moon, and I think this is the last discount we're gonna have before Safe Moon does have a huge increase in price because of the Safe Moon wallet when it does release. So in the end, we are still in that bullish trend. So can you can just see that we are breaking like these lows here are still getting higher and higher, which is a good indicator. Like I said, if this coin did go down below this level, like all the way to here, that would be really bad. Like that would be indicator that safe moon is going to lose even more price in, in the future. But because we are stabilizing here, we're still pretty much okay. I don't think we're gonna break down even more. Like, like it all depends. If the whole crypto market breaks down even more, then yes, safe moon will break down even more. But if we don't, it's gonna be pretty much okay. So what needs to happen in Safe Moon? We need that wallet. So the wallet is super detrimental for Safe Moon right now because we've been seeing too much FUD and that's it. So there's too much FUD plus this crash here. It's just a combination of like really bad things happening to Safe Moon. But like I said, once we do have the wallet and if everything is okay, there should be a nice increase here and the FUD will stop. Like all the FUD will just stop and that's it. So it all depends on Safe Moon right now. So why do we have this giant crash? It's because, well, there's a lot of factors. There's some people just using like long leverages and just cashing out and that's it. It's also because of El Salvador where the, their basic, their wallet did crash. It's not really that they, it, it crashed, but they had to stop their wallet because they needed more capacity. So I think like 6 million people did register or something like that. So basically just because of that, uh, Bitcoin did go down. Now, not only Bitcoin, but all the coins they go down. I just show you guys here that the whole crypto market, the exact same thing. You can just see the exact same thing here happening to all of these like coins here, which is pretty sad to see. But because it, it is the exact same thing to every single coin here, it just shows you that this is a planned move and that's it. Uh, There's just a huge planned move and uh, do be aware of that. The big whales, somebody who's at the top of crypto, somebody who really can man manipulate the market, is just got a ton of money here <laughs> i'm just gonna say that they got a ton of money here and that's it so do be aware of something that when we do reach i still think like the whole market is going to be pretty much bullish by the end of the year we're gonna be okay bitcoin's gonna reach some astronomical values do be aware that it's not gonna last forever bitcoin is, is gonna hit that all-time high and it's gonna break like things like this can happen and that's it like people will cash out guys that's the whole point of crypto people getting gaining money and that's it Bitcoin, safe on all the coins, they will not go up forever. They will go up gradually for like maybe a year or two. They're going to start to stabilize and after that, they're going to pump up even more. So we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen in the whole crypto space. But for now, do be patient and do be aware of what's going to happen here in the market. Now, safe and really post any new posts here about the crash. It would be pretty nice if they did say some words of encouragement. But yeah, so it's OK. Probably they're going to post something today so can't really make a news about that if it's not released yet so yeah guys that's about it for this video what do you guys think about safe moon what do, what are you guys opinion please put it down in the comments i want your honest like super honest opinion what do you think is going to happen here will you hold safe moon accountable for their mistakes or we're just gonna forget it and let it pass so yeah guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to buy these coins please do your own research first if you did enjoy this video it means so much to me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video